What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Church, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, Jesus is the God we serve. Jesus is the God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Well, God bless you. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Polk. Good morning, Mika. Good morning, Eleanor. God bless you, Sister Banks. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Sister Pam. God bless you, Dr. Harrison. Good morning to you. Good morning and praise the Lord. Deacon and Mother Wilkins, God bless you. God bless you, Deacon Grant. Good morning, Sister Matthews. God bless you. Good morning, Brother Paul. Praise Jesus. God bless you, sir, and your family. Good morning, Sister Linda. Good morning, Sister Cheek. God bless you. Good morning, Carmelita. God bless you. Good morning, Tiana. Good morning, Sister Janice. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Morris. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Ford. God bless you. God bless you, Bishop and Lady Alday. God bless you, Sister Pedlar. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Speller. Good morning, Mother Hudson. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Deacon and Mother Wilson. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Sarah. God bless you and your family. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry, and your family. Good morning, Sister Duchess. God bless you, Brother Aaron, and the family. Good morning, Mother Pride. God bless you. Good morning, Missionary Johnson. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Pedlock. Good morning, El Elder and Mother Mott, God bless you both. Good morning, Sister Wiggins and Brother Wiggins. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Elaine. God bless you. God bless you. Missionary Bryant, God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Sister Mother McCall, God bless you. God bless you. Dr. McCarroll Johnson, good morning to you. God bless you, Pastor and Lady Williams. God bless you, Sister Garrett, praying for you. God bless you, Deacon and Sister Graves. God bless you both. Good morning, Sister Kenlock. Good morning, Sister Cynthia. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Butler. God bless you, Brother Butler and the family. Good morning and praise the Lord. Kimberly, God bless you, praying for your family. Hallelujah. In grieving today and in the services, God bless you. Well, good morning and praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to spend a few moments with you with a biblical meditation and in prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And we continue to witness, hallelujah, the blessings of God, the favor of God, and what God does does through prayer. God answers prayer. I'm just testifying of the goodness of God, the progress that God is working in the life of one of the mothers of our church. She suffered a, a, a physical setback a few moments, a few months ago, and um, I'm just amazed at what God has done. We've been traveling back and forth, so we've been checking in at this moment, checking in at that moment, but just to hear 
what the Lord has done and the progress that mother has made. It is a testimony to the faith of her daughter, the faith of her family, and the prayers of the righteous. And yes, the prayers of the righteous availeth much. I just literally, they were talking about her demise, but she's still yet holding on and she's making physical progress. She's fighting her way back to health. And I'm thanking God for what the Lord is doing. He's a great God, saints. Hallelujah. The song says, so many people doubt him, but I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He is so real to me. And God continues to show his reality so we know he's real. As always, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share that with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on um, Instagram, you can place it right there on the screen in the chat or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And to everybody who is on the conference call and thank God for our conference call listeners, everybody on YouTube or anybody can text in their prayer request to 336-567-5358. Again, that number is 336-567-5358. 5358. Text in your prayer request because we are praying with you. We're adding them to the prayer list. We're praying over them and we are joining our faith to your faith, believing for, for what we know God is indeed able to do. Because he's able, saints, to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we ask or even think. I want to direct you back to the book of Psalms. Psalm number 48, we're going to try to conclude this text today. Psalm number 48, and join us, if you would, at verse number 8. Psalm 48 and verse number 8. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of of the Lord of hosts in the city of our God, God will establish it forever. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye what, what well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. He will be our guide even unto death. And I want to talk to you this morning from the subject hearing and seeing. Hearing and seeing. Hearing and seeing. The natural senses um, have an order to it, I believe. And um, all of your senses are necessary. The sense of sight, the sense of hearing, the sense of smelling, the sense of touch, all of them have impact on the quality of your physical life. Um, we've had this discussion, my sisters and I have had the discussion relative to what we would be willing if we were forced to, to live without. Um, I think we all kind of agree that we could live without being able to smell. In fact, all of us have had incidents where we lost our sense of smell. I'm sorry, taste is another one. And, and so if I couldn't smell the dinner, but I could eat the dinner, I think I could be okay. I would struggle, and I think all of us would struggle, with losing our sight, losing our hearing. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I, I guess we can all debate what is more important and what is necessary. Some would 
rather hear than see and some would rather see than hear. Um, some would compensate through reading lips or compensate through looking at written text or braille if we were sightless. But all of our senses have a necessity as it relates to the physical well-being of each of us. But I think when we look at it from a spiritual perspective, we need to be able to hear. Above everything else, we need to be able to hear. Because the ability to hear the word, and I just don't mean from an auditory sense, but to receive the word in the spirit is vital for everything. Vital for everything. You know, if, if we're unable to hear, or if we refuse to hear, or if we have our hearing hindered in some way, it limits and blocks our ability to believe. Because the Bible says what? Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And what you hear, or what you hear here in the scripture, as we have heard, so have we seen. Sight gives you the ability to embrace the manifestation of what you have heard. But the hearing comes first from a spiritual perspective. The hearing comes first because in so many cases, people are trying to see God working without believing what they have heard about God. And in order to access faith, you have to access faith based upon being able to hear the word, to hear the word and not just hear it with your natural auditory senses, but to be able to ingest the word, to take the word in so that it builds faith. And when faith has been built, then we see what? Manifestation. We see the evidence of what God has spoken. But it starts with hearing. As we have heard, so have we seen. Hearing and seeing. A lot of people want to see it before they believe it. But the Bible is very clear that hope that is seen is not hope. If God just does it all and you see it all and then you say you believe, where's the faith? The faith comes when you hear, but there is no evidence. The faith comes when you hear, but there is no manifestation. The faith comes when you're able to hear, but you have not yet witnessed what you've heard from God. But based upon what I've heard, I believe. I believe it. I believe it because I've heard it. God said it. And because God cannot lie, I'm going to take him clearly at what he has said. Hallelujah. I don't have any ocular proof. I don't have any visual evidence of what God has spoken. I haven't seen him work the miracle. I haven't seen him manifest the, 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 the reality of his power. I have not seen the healing. I have not seen the prosperity. But just because because he said it. Oh my God, just because he said it, I'm going to embrace it and I'm going to believe it. And if you can believe what God has said, you will see what God is able to do. Let me say that again. If you can believe what God has said, you can see what God is able to do. The psalmist said, we heard it. We heard it. We heard it, and now we believe it. And because we believe it, we're seeing the evidence of God's power. So we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish it forever. He said he would do it. Now he's doing it, and we see what he is doing. Oh, my God, I believe what you said. And because I believe what you've said, I'm now seeing the manifestation of of the power of God. We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of the temple. We heard that you were a loving God. We heard that you were a gracious God. We heard 
God, that you had power and ability. We heard that you had loving kindness, and now we see the manifestation. But I had to hear it first. I had to hear about the mercy of God. I had to hear about God's ability. I had to hear about God's power, and now I'm seeing his loving kindness in action. Him loving me despite my failing. Him loving me despite, hallelujah, my my unbelief. Him loving me when I didn't trust him. But because I heard what he said, I'm believing it, and now I'm seeing it. Look at verse number ten. According to thy loving kindness, so is thy according to thy name, rather, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. The power that is just in the name of our God. That when we call that name, demons tremble. When we call that name, sickness runs. When we call that name, healing is dispatched. Joy is released. All of this coming out of the name of the Lord alone. His name is a strong tower and the righteous runneth therein and they are safe. His name, his name. So I'm going to praise him for the power that is in his name. I know there's ability. I know there's strength. I know there's joy. I know there's help. And because I hear and know, I'm going to manifest and believe and celebrate. Thy hand, oh God, thy right hand is full of righteousness. Righteousness. He's a righteous God. He's an able God. He's a keeping God. Then he says, let the mountain, let Mount Zion rejoice. All of Mount Zion. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of that judgment. Lord, let us celebrate your mercy and celebrate your truth and celebrate your grace. Walk about Zion. You're you're seeing it now. You're able to walk. You just heard that God would build this city in Zion, and you had to believe just because God said it. Now you're able to walk in Zion, to go round about her, to tell the towers thereof, mark ye well her bulwarks, consider her palaces, that ye may tell it to the generation following. You're going to testify. Now look at the pattern here. Look at the pattern. Look at the pattern. You're hearing You're believing, you're seeing, and you're telling. Let me say it again. You're hearing, you're believing, you're seeing, and you're telling. You have to hear the promises of the word, and you have to embrace the promises of the word. And when you embrace the promises of the word, you are believing what God has said. He spoke it. He spoke it, and so much happens, listen to me, by the spoken word of God. All of creation was made just because God started talking. He said, let there be light. He didn't touch lights. He didn't string up lights. He didn't bring electricity. He just said, let there be light be, and there was light. All of this from the spoken word of the living God. He spoke, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast, and when you you hear God speak. That is God's creative power. At work. When God starts talking, that's when he's creating. When God opens his mouth, that's when he's creating. He's creating deliverance. He's creating an answer to your prayer. He's creating, oh God, a way. He's creating salvation for your family. All of this by God speaking and you hearing what God has said. You've got to hear it and then you've got to believe it. Oh God, you've got to believe it. You've got to believe it. If God said it, I don't care how far-fetched it is. I don't care how to, how far out of reach it might be. I don't care how outside of the realm of possibility it might be to you. When God says it, you need to believe it. And then when you, when you hear it and believe it, you will see the manifestation of it. You will see God's healing. You're going to see God make a way. You're going to see God open a door. You're going to see God bind the enemy. You're going to see God deliver your heart, your mind, save your family. And then when he's done it, my God, you need to tell it. You need to testify. You need to testify. You need to testify. He did this. He did that. I'm looking at the healing. I'm watching myself get better. I'm seeing myself, oh God, come out of depression. I'm seeing myself come out of bondage. All of this because I heard and I believed 
and I, hallelujah, saw and I'm speaking. I'm telling it. I'm telling it. You know, that's how testimonies are built. The Bible says we are overcome by the word of our testimony. You need to testify. I know in so many cases, churches don't do testimony service much anymore, but I need you to testify to somebody. Somebody needs to hear the word and they need to hear your story. They need to hear what God has done in your life because that's how faith is transferred. Faith is transferred through the hearing of the word and faith is transferred through the hearing of testimonies. So saints, God is talking to us. Oh God, God is speaking to us. If you will listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, he is telling you that he is fixing some things. He is making a way. He is opening a door. He's delivering your loved one. He's setting your children free. Oh my God, he's bringing healing to that person you've been praying for, but you've got to hear it and you've got to believe it. And when you believe it, you will see the manifestation of the presence and the power of God. You will see that manifestation become reality in your life. And when God does it, tell it, say it. Open up your mouth and tell somebody what God has done. Because, and this is the final conclusion of this wonderful text. This, for this is our God, the God that does not lie, the God that stands by his word, the God that manifests himself, my God, in every situation. This is our God, and he is our eternal God, because we've seen things in the earth. But all of us, when we leave this world, are going to a place we have not seen. All we have is the word that we've heard. All we have is the word that is written. Jesus said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. In my father, he said it, in my father's house. We read the gospel that was written, but it was first said by Jesus. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. We read the prophecy that John heard, that Paul heard, that Peter heard of what is coming in the future. And so we believe it, although we have not seen it. But one day, because we have heard, because we have believed the word, because we're going to see glory. Glory. We're going to see heaven. We're going to see manifestation. Why? Because he is our God and he will be our God even unto death. He will not separate himself from us in death. He will remain our God. And because he's our God, we're going to see the manifestation and the fruition of his word come to pass. God bless you, saints. I'm out of time, but I need you to hear. I need you to believe. I need you to see, and then I need you to tell. Oh, my God, hear, believe, see, and tell. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Gracious and eternal God, we love you. We thank you. We honor you this morning. Lord, for your continued grace, your grace, my God, to make it to wake up another day in our right mind, our hearts stayed upon you. You kept us last night, you woke us up this morning. We were in our right mind and we were able to gather ourselves together and join this great cadre of believers God from all over the world. I thank you today for the morning prayer family. I thank you, Lord, for your continued manifestation in our lives. I thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy unto us. Lord, you're so real. Ah, Jandama. Oh, God, you're so real. And we thank you. We thank you for your word that you have spoken into our hearts. We thank you, God, for what we believe. And we thank you, God, for what we're seeing in manifestation. And we are speaking and telling everybody of your goodness, your mercy, your grace, and your love. God, if it had not been for you, we couldn't have made it. But we thank you for everybody today 
who's in the morning prayer family, whether they've come by Instagram or Facebook or conference call or YouTube, however they have joined this fellowship, we thank you for them. And we're praying for the manifestation, for the revelation of your power and your grace. So God, have your way today in the name of Jesus. Remember every name that's been sent by text or messenger or email or placed in the chat today. We hold up every prayer request. We hold up every believer that is on this line today. And we're asking you for the release of unexpected favor, miracle signs, wonders. God, give us manifestation. In the name of Jesus, give us manifestation today. Lord, touch us, strengthen us now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we're praying today. My God, for the names on the prayer list. We're praying for Sister Blanche and family. We're praying for Jeanette. We're praying for Dover Elementary School. We're praying for Orangeburg Schools as they prepare to open. We're praying, my God, for Sister Roberta Page this morning. We're praying for Tanya. We're praying for Malik. We're praying for Jaquise today. We're praying, my God, for Elder and Sister Dorset. We're praying today for Elder, my God, and Lady Williams. We're praying, my God, for Bishop and Mother Wright, for Bishop, hallelujah, and Sister Wilkins. We're praying today for Bishop and Lady Alde. We're praying, my God, for Bishop and Mother Joseph today. We're praying, my God, for Pastor, hallelujah, oh God, and Lady Chetram this morning. Every pastor, every first lady, oh God, that's a part of this prayer. Every congregation that's a part of this prayer ministry, we're praying for them today. Remember Greater Refuge Temple of New York City. Remember Greater Refuge Temple of Jacksonville, of Lakeland, of Charleston, of Washington, D.C. Remember Refuge Temple of Burlington. Remember Refuge Temple of Columbia today. Remember Faith Refuge, my God, in Harrisburg. Remember Shiloh Apostolic, oh God, in Atlantic City. Remember Shiloh Baptist in Plainfield. Remember the Community Church of Astoria. Remember the Community Church of Island today. Remember every congregation that's represented on this line today. God, remember divine worship. Remember, my God, the house of God. Remember every church, Lord. And Lord, do what what we know you are able to do. Do what you've spoken, my God, in your holy word, and bring manifestation. Lord, I'm praying that you would save God to the utmost. Save everywhere. God, save. Touch the hearts of men and women. Lord, deliver them from addiction, from bondage, from fear, from guilt. And Lord, let them believe and repent and be born of the water and be born of the spirit. God, I'm praying for backsliders everywhere that you would touch and deliver and reclaim and restore. And I'm praying for those that might be discouraged that you would strengthen and edify and build them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody on this prayer line, God, release miracles now in the name of Jesus. God, I'm praying, my God, for healing for the sick today. Everybody, God, that's facing affliction, dealing with affliction, we're praying for them now. We're praying for Verna Jenkins today. We're praying, my God, for anybody suffering with cancer. God, we're praying for your healing virtue to be upon them. Suffering with diabetes, suffering with high blood pressure, suffering with multiple sclerosis, suffering, my God, with any sickness. Lord, you're the God above every sickness, and we trust you in the name of Jesus. We're praying for those that might be in hospice care today. God, we're praying, God, that you would bring a turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for Patricia. We're praying for Hannah today. We're praying for Gordon Belcher. Lord, everybody's suffering in their bodies. We're praying for Lashana's colleagues, for Linda Fontaine, for Janice Hayes Moore, for William May Williams, for Elaine Scott. We're praying for Keisha Bryant today. We're praying for Yvette Jackson Carrington. We're praying for Mamie Harrison, for Samuel Latson, for Sister Kristen, for Sister Chastity. God, we're praying for your healing virtue. My God, to be extended. My God, and continue. My God, for hallelujah, Minister Perkins, for Daniel, for Deacon Adams, for Deacon Hallelujah, Wilson today. For Deacon and Sister Harrison. My God, for Elder Dokes, Elder Toll. We're praying for your continued power to be upon Phil this morning. Lord, we're praying for your continued power to be upon Virgie. God, bring the healing. Oh, God, continue the progress in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying today that you remember 
Hallelujah. The souls that need healing in their bodies in the name of Jesus. Remember, my God, Bishop Alfonso Books. Remember, hallelujah, Bishop Early Dillard. We pray for day, today, rather, for Missionary Domingo, Missionary Brisbane, Missionary Hodges, Missionary, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Touch them now in your precious name. Missionary Roseman, God, remember, my God, Mother Wilson, remember, call today. I'm praying, my God, for Deacon Grant. I'm praying for Pastor and Lady Winston. Oh, God, Mother Hicks. Oh, God, Mother Owens. Bishop D, Apostle Keith, everybody in progress, Lord. Touch them and heal them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, Mother Coleman. Remember, Sister Shakaya Polk. God, we're praying today for Bishop Clonell Williams, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop, hallelujah. Oh, my God, Henry Hargroves, Bishop David Smith today. We're praying, God, for Bishop Richard Johnson. We're praying, hallelujah, for Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Apostle, hallelujah, Herbert Edwards, Apostle Leroy Joseph, Apostle, my God, Charles Williams, Apostle Sylvester Norwood. God, remember them. Remember Brother Wiggins, Brother and Mother Sherrod. Remember Mother Garland today, Dr. Haywood, Sister Haywood, Dr. Haywood's mother. My God, we're praying for healing, oh God, upon everybody that's sick everywhere. God, remember them with your virtue and touch them in the name of Jesus. My God, remember Pastor Carr, Minister Carr. Remember Elder Tyson, Elder Smith. Remember Mother Foster, Henry J., Brother Cliff. My God, remember Mother Tanaj, Mother Holman, Missionary Simmons today. I pray today that you remember in the name of Jesus. Oh God, Cynthia, Catherine, and Duchess. Lord, remember Marlette. Remember Maurice today with your healing virtue. Dennis, my God. Tony, Kimberly, Chris. My God, everybody everywhere in every hospital, nursing home, rehab center, hospice center. Lord, walk in there and bring healing because you're the bomb in Gilead. God, I'm praying today for grieving families. I'm pray praying for Sister Lula Howard this morning. I'm praying for the Croxton and Clark families. My God, as they lay their loved one to rest. I'm praying for the Scott King family. I'm praying for Pastor Grandison Rivas, his daughters, his grandchildren, and the entire family. I'm praying for Mother Pendergrass and the entire family. God, I'm praying for Mother Sally Carr this morning. I'm praying for Mother Walker, Mother Moya. I'm praying for Jaleesa Harris and family. God, I'm praying, my God, for Jackie Poole and family. I'm praying for Takesha Hill and family. I'm praying for Jerry Perry and family. God, I'm praying, my God, that you remember the Lunsfords and everybody that's grieving losses. God, that you strengthen them. Remember, oh God, Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric and the family. Remember Dr. Carter and the family. Remember Apostle Fields and the family, God. Remember in the name of Jesus, Mother Harrell and the family, Mother Grant and the family. God, go with them. Be with them. Stand with them now. Comfort them in the name of Jesus. Remember the Groover family today. Remember, my God, the Kramers. Remember the Hargroves and the Bloods. Every grieving family everywhere. The Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. God, remember my God. Hallelujah, the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family. God, look in on and strengthen my God in the name of Jesus in a special way. Oh God, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom, and her sisters. God, remember, my God, Anita, oh God, and the Brian Hopkins family, the White family. Oh God, Margie and the McLean, Melvin, and Street families. Remember the Ransom family, the Jackson family. Oh God, the Newkirk family, the Ned family. My God, the Green family. My God, remember the Umsteads and the Nun family. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray today that you remember all of these grieving families everywhere. God, remember, my God, hallelujah, in your precious name. Name, all of the Smith family, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdies, the Sneeze, the Washington Fields family. God, remember them. Though God, the Winninghams, the Banks is God, the Middletons, the Taylors. Look on the Felix family, the Sapata family, the Mannix, the Boodrums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, the Taylors, the Phillips family, the Joseph. God, look on Pastor Stevens. Look on Pastor, oh God, and Lady Manning today. Look on the Davises, my God, the Allens, the Caldwells, the Hayses, the Moors, the Harbisons, God. Look on them right now. Oh God, the Austins, the Adams family, the Austins, every grieving widow, widow, where child, parent, sibling, loved one, we pray your comfort, God. I pray for the body of Christ today. I pray for every apostle, prophet, evangelist, oh God, pastor and teacher. I pray, my God, for every, oh God, bishop and elder, every first lady, all the pastor's children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. I pray, my God, all that you remember everybody in the body of Christ, musicians, singers, and psalmists, the young people of the church, God, 
God, strengthen us now. Strengthen, oh God, the saints everywhere. And God, help the church, oh my God, to believe. Help the church with our faithlessness. Help the church with our lack of confidence. Let us hear, my God, believe that we might see the manifestation and tell of your wonderful works. God, I'm praying today for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I'm praying today that you remember school employees and students everywhere. I'm praying, God, that you would look on everybody. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. That works, God. Keep them safe from incident, accident. My God, illness. And Lord, should there be one, be the healer. And God, as you're healing, heal the land. The land is in so much turmoil. The land is in so much pain. But heal the land from sin. Oh, God, from hatred, from jealousy, from violence. Heal the land in the name of Jesus Christ. Heal the land, God. Heal the land, God, from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. God, we need you to guide us, to guide us, to keep us, to sustain us. So protect us today. Keep us under your blood. And we'll give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and give God praise right now. Everybody on this line, come on and give God praise. Give God praise. Give God praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give God praise. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is my declaration. The Lord is our eternal God. But I've added this part, hear, believe, see, and tell. The Lord is our eternal God. Hear, believe, see, and tell. Hallelujah. He is our God. Hallelujah. He has spoken to us through his word, and we're going to believe his word and act on his word and live by his word, and we're going to see the manifestation of his word. Hallelujah. It's going to be revealed. It's going to be manifested. It's going to be shown, and as we see it, hallelujah, we're going to tell it. God, we're going to tell somebody of the goodness of the Lord. We're going to tell somebody of his continued grace and mercy and his manifestation in our lives. Saints, I know God is real because I've seen the manifestation. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your day is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple. This um, service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God for the conference call and those that join us by conference call. Keep coming, keep sharing, and keep participating in the morning prayer. You can also stay connected through our podcast Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of this available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Our radio broadcast airs every day, Monday through Friday at 8.30 a.m. on GregoryGospel.com. Let me thank everybody that seeds and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do, and we appreciate this, and we appreciate the gifts, and we appreciate you. And you can send to Refuge Temple Church, P.O. Box, 3552 Burlington, North Carolina, 27215 Refuge Temple, P.O. Box 3552, Hallelujah, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can give online. Our website is Refuge Temple, N is in North, C is in Carolina.com, and you can give on the donate page. If you have the Givelify app, you can share. Just type in Refuge Temple Burlington. You'll see a picture of the church, and you can make your gift there. Or if you have Cash App, our Cash App is dollar sign one Refuge. Refuge. Dollar sign, the number one refuge. Once again, you'll see a picture of the church and you can make your gift there. And we thank you for your giving. We thank you for your support, but we thank you most of all for being a part of the morning prayer family. We are in consecration, fasting and praying every Wednesday and every Friday 
The church is open for prayer Mondays at 6.30, Wednesdays at noon, Wednesdays at 7.30, Saturday mornings, excuse me, at 10 a.m. And you can join us in prayer. If you're able to come, come and just pray with us. And the Lord is going to bless you. Join us in, if you need the scriptures, if you can't see it on the flyer, inbox me or email me or text me and I'll send you those scriptures so you can be a part of the consecration. Look, we're getting ready. Uh, several other dates. Let me just say this. On Sunday, Sunday afternoon, I'll be at Refuge Temple in Oxford, North Carolina with my dear friend and brother, Pastor David Morton in their family and friends day. We're looking forward to a great fellowship in the name of Jesus Christ on the, um, 20th, I, I, or yeah, the following Sunday afternoon, I'll be at New Covenant Church with Bishop Harry Cohen in the celebration of his anniversary. So you can come and be a part of these services in Oxford or in Burlington. Remember the prayer conference, September 29th, 30th, and October the 1st. The flyer is going up today. We're calling it the Prayer Power Weekend. It's going to be an amazing weekend. You can be a part of that. We're going to have as our musical guest on Saturday, September 30th, Pastor John P. Key. It's going to be great preaching, great prayer, great teaching. God's going to bless us, and it's worth the trip to come and be with us in the name of Jesus Christ. You can also stay connected with us hallelujah, every day at 630 in prayer, and we thank you for being with us. We love the morning prayer family and we appreciate you. So please keep coming to prayer. And as you pray, pray for me, pray for Lady Davis, pray for our children, pray for my father, pray for my sisters, my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might keep us and sustain us in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord allow you to hear, to believe, to see, and to tell. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.